Jones Bones. It is your girl, United Lee Random. And today is, it's in January. Let me look at the day. Today is the 6th. Today is the 6th of January. And I've been thinking about like weight loss and how the hell am I going to lose weight? Um, and I haven't started, but like I know that I tend to be like low motivational and whatnot. So... I thought that if I made it clear that that was something I wanted to do, lose weight, get healthy, you know, even if just for a while. And I've said that before because maybe I'll lose weight and realize I don't like being smaller. Um, but I do want to focus on that for this year because I just keep getting bigger and, you know, I'm getting older. Mostly, I want to lose weight, get at a healthier weight, be more active because I want to be a mother. Um, and me and Stu have talked about it and, you know, I haven't been getting pregnant since I've been 21 and I've just been gaining weight since I've been 21 too. So, um, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. That was a lot. Um, so my channel, even though I just moved to a different country, is really going to focus on my body. Um, for the last few years, I feel like I focused on my spirituality. I focus a little bit about my mental health. And I've done a lot of work in those aspects. So now I feel like I need to work on my physical. And then I need to bring it all together. And so right now, like I said, even though I'm in a completely different country, a lot of my content, at least for this first year, I don't want it to focus on the country around me. I want it to focus on me and my body. Which is going to be a little difficult considering, like, there's so many new things happening right now. But, like, I believe in myself, you know, and I hope that you guys believe in me as well, that I can make some changes. Last time I got on the scale, like, before I left America, I was at, I want to say, 275. Uh, 124 kgs, 124 kgs. And I think that my goal is to get under 100 kgs this year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> to get under 100 kgs. Um, when I go look for an apartment, I'm hoping that my apartment might have like a little gym uh, at the bottom of it so that instead of going out and looking for a gym to go to, I can just go to the gym at my apartment. Mm. I'm just hoping that I can find that determination. Maybe, maybe my lack of determination, my lack of energy, my lack of, I don't know how to say it. I feel like in general to lose weight or to do something, you have to have motivation and I'm wondering, maybe my lack of motivation is because I'm just tired. Like, I move around, like, my body aches. And I've been looking at people talk about how when they got smaller, their body had a new range of motion. And I want that. I want that for me. I want the new range of motion. But, like, also, I think that I feel a lot of hesitation. Like, I feel like... Have we talked about my weight a lot on my channel? I'm not sure. Not necessarily. Like, it would come up that I wasn't really satisfied with my weight. But also, like, I had not a lot of motivation to do it. I kept telling myself that once I left the country, I would focus on my weight a little bit more. Because, like, there is something to be said that even though I talk about wanting to lose weight, I've never went on a diet. Not in my adult life. I have not dieted. I have not worked towards actually losing weight as an adult. And so I think that I'm worried to start trying to lose weight and then it not work. And then also like, I don't have like this like super great body. So I lose, when I was younger, I think I was going through issues with body dysmorphia. And I've been talking about that a little bit more. I don't know if I've been sharing it with you guys. But um, when I was younger, I went through a lot of issues with body dysmorphia. 
And I think one of the things that came up with now is I'm actually still in a way going through issues of body dysmorphia. Um, when I was young, I felt like this huge bull in a china cabinet, like china cabinet bull. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and I still feel like that now. It's funny because like, there's so much confidence in me and like, I, I love myself for the most part, but I also feel like so huge, so big, you know what I mean? And I don't think I'm ever going to not feel uh, huge or big. Um, because I just think I am bigger than most girls. Like I'm not like the other girls. I'm Fiona from Streck and I do carry myself in a certain manner as well. But I don't know. I do want to change. And it was harder. It was harder to like really tell myself that I wanted to change when I was like starting to inch past the weight that I was like, I would never go past. Like when I inched past 200, I stayed at 205 for a while. And I was like, oh man, I got to lose weight. I got to lose weight. And like, it's really funny because I'd never done anything to really lose weight. It's because like back in high school, and I've talked about this before, back in high school, I had a really bad issue um, with like obsessing, like, like obsessing over my weight, which, um, I felt horrible. Like it was like a negative feedback loop. Like I felt so bad. And because of that, that, that horrible feedback loop that I uh, presented upon myself when I was young, I'm just afraid to ever try to get into that mindset of, I need to make a change. You know what I mean? Because it was scary and it wasn't me and it felt gross and it felt disgusting and it was horrible. And, um, whenever I talk about it, people just kind of wave their, like wave it off. Like, Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. Mm, but in my head, the way that I see it is I was starting to develop an eating disorder and it was, it was like the, like the, it was the slime, the slime of that, that, that time has not, has not grown past me. And it's, it's just like the mental gymnastics that I did to allow myself to get to this point is very, mm, you know, it's, it's very, mm. and now I'm starting to feel really emotional because like, I, I think there's so much, so much that I was holding on to, so much that I'm holding on to. I don't know. I love myself. You know, I love myself. I love me. You know, welcome to the Unitedly Random World. I love myself. And I don't want to love myself more. I don't know. It's scary. Um, but I do know that, uh, like going and getting like a bunch of food a day and just eating it all at once until like my stomach hurts, is not good for me. And I want to have my shit together before I bring my children into this. And I want to be a mother, so. I got to do something. I got to prove to myself that I'm worthy of the, the, the things that I want in life. I have to prove it to myself. And so that means I have to go after it. I have to work hard. I don't know. That was just a little bit of the thoughts that go on in my head. Um, again, it is the 6th of January. I have no scale around to tell you guys where I am right now in my weight. I'm still inside of a hotel. And, well, I'm not going to tell you guys where I am. I'll tell you guys more about where I am next year. But I'm still in a hotel, uh, chillaxing, not really doing much. I'm doing my training every day and... 
Um, I told myself I wasn't going to focus on losing weight until I finally got a place. Um, and I haven't moved to the area to get my place just yet. But I'm really getting mentally prepared. Like I, I started, I've been starting like I mentally prepare myself in 2022, 2023, I was going to make that change. And so it's 2023. So it's coming. It's, it's got to come. And yeah, is my channel going to turn into like a weight loss vlog type of channel? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, much love and positive vibes. And I will see you next time.